We're back. Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones. Happy New Year. This is your KWHS News. We're kicking off our 2018 announcements with news from the Counseling Center. College visits are kicking off this month with a visit from the CSU Fort Collins reps on Wednesday, January 24th. Then Western State Colorado University returns for a second visit on Thursday, January 25th. February college visits kick off with Fort Hayes State on Tuesday, February 13th followed by Colorado Mesa University on Valentine's Day. UCCS will be here on Thursday, February 15th, and Lamar Community College is scheduled for Friday, February 23rd. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, listen up. If you're interested in taking cosmetology classes next year, that's right, the classes where you learn to become a hairstylist, nail technician, skin expert, or makeup artist, then stop by the Counseling Center to sign up for more information. In senior news, senior shirts are still on sale in the Counseling Center for $15. Get yours now so you can wear it for the senior panoramic picture. And seniors, if you have photos you would like to have in the yearbook or senior slideshow, send them to Curie Carmody at this email. Photos must be of seniors only. And finally, from the Counseling Center, freshmen and sophomores, your scheduling cards are due tomorrow. Please ensure they are signed and returned to your advisory teacher. Coming up, we're checking in with Miss Betsy for the lunch menu for today and tomorrow. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome back. We're glad we got already halfway through the month. I have my friend here to tell me what's for lunch today. Pizza pie. Homemade pizza pie, you need to come down and have some. Okay, and tomorrow we're having barbecue pulled pork sandwich. See you then, bye. See ya. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Just a reminder from the cafeteria, you can add money to your lunch account online, the business office, or see Miss Betsy directly. When we come back, we'll have student cabinet, club, and fundraiser news. But first, we're throwing it to Moose Santos for a Gladiator Sports update. Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos with your Gladiator Sports Update. Over the break, our sports teams managed to add some impressive wins to their scorecards. Before we get to the scores, here are some spring sports meetings to add to your calendar. Boys Swim and Dive will be having an informational meeting on Tuesday, January 23rd during lunch. See Mrs. Wickberg for more details. The football team started off-season workouts last week. If you missed it, please see Coach O in the gym. Spring Track had a meeting yesterday. If you missed it, please see Coach Majerison in Bowers Gym for those details. Forensics team also had a meeting yesterday. If you missed it, please see Mrs. Owen or Mr. Elhofer for information you missed. Speaking of the forensics team, they hosted over 200 students from 28 schools over the weekend. Faith Gerwig placed first in humor and Daniel Mondragon and Dylan Shea placed third in duo. This Thursday the team competes at St. Mary's in Congress and on Saturday they'll be on the road to compete at La Junta. In basketball news our Lady Glads traveled to Mitchell High School last night and handed the Marauders a nice loss. The Lady Glads will be back in our home court this Thursday against Harrison at 7 p.m. in Bowers. Our men's basketball team also played Mitchell High School last night and handed the Marauders a healthy loss. Next up for Glads is Harrison at Harrison at 7 p.m. on Thursday. Our wrestling team is at home against the Purple School tonight at 6 p.m. in a dual match. Check them out. The Lady Swim team took to the pool last night against Mitchell. They are making significant waves. Their times are improving as they make their way to state. Good luck to all our sports teams this week. That's it for our sports update. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Moose Santos. Now back to you, Corinne and Jeremiah. Thanks, Moose. Since we're in scheduling mode, KWHS wants you. If you are interested in joining our staff next year, please stop by room 102 where the magic happens to pick up an application. Applications are due on February 2nd. Likewise, if you're interested in being a part of the group that helps preserve your school memories, that's right, the yearbook staff, pick up an application from Ms. Kennedy in room 104 ASAP. Applications are due by January 31st. Book club is meeting tomorrow in the library magazine room at lunch. GLADS. Our school is looking for GLADS who are interested in sharing thoughts about how to improve our school and community. It's called the Student Advisory Group. If you're interested, come to a meeting tomorrow in, at lunch in the Media Center. They're looking for a diverse group of students to increase the student voice of WHS. Check it out. 
In student cabinet news, student cabinet is taking donations for their Pennies for Puppies campaign. You can donate good old cash, but you, you can also bring in dog or cat food, pet beds, towels, toys, and accessories. Bring in your donations by Friday to room 103, and Miss Melton will be happy to take those off your hands. All donations will go to the Humane Society. Speaking of student cabinet, they are hosting Spirit Week this week. Today is college day, and you all are looking good in your college gear. Tomorrow is flannel day, and Friday is Hawaiian day. Please remember that your spirit gear must be school appropriate. We'll be on an assembly schedule on Friday for winter sports assembly. If you need something fun to do this weekend, join the NHS and Sophomore Council at the Winter Luau on Saturday, January 20th from 7 to 10 p.m. They will have the usual dance music for you, but they are also promising games like Cornhole, Sumo Challenge, Obstacle Course, Bowling, Mini Golf, and a Compliment Booth. You may also win some prizes. Tickets will be available at the door for $5 with an ID or $10 without. Mahalo! Just a reminder, Student Union is open again in the Media Center every afternoon from 3 to 4 15. Be sure to have a sticker on your ID. That's all for our news today. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Karen McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great rest of the week. <laughs>